Hello again, Tryhard Enmity here. Welcome to part two of the Starting Fresh series. In this episode, we'll be talking about how to make gold um, from selling specific items, which items to pick up, um, and just generally um, a bit of buying and reselling on the auction house as well. Uh, main focus on this is going to be we're going to kill, uh, well, not kill, we're going to go through Nightmare and Hell Mode, and then we're going to get started on Inferno. Um, episode three will mainly be my journey through Inferno on this kind of fresh... Uh, completely fresh character, uh, completely fresh on US servers. Um, so yeah guys, let's uh, let's get this started. Now just to quickly recap, um, since uh, last episode I've gone through all of uh, Act 1 on um, Nightmare difficulty, um, almost up to 2 million gold now, which is, it's kind of absurd, like um, when I hit 60, I'm not going to use all my gold towards my first set of gear, because uh, the whole point of this series is to, to kind of get on the level of people who don't have any gold and uh, and try to kind of, I guess, share in the struggle of not having gold and making money from nothing in Inferno difficulty. Um, at the moment, leveling up, you can get quite a bit of gold off some of these items. Like, um, as you can see, like, okay, so I found a bunch of items, like, you know, just yellows and stuff, which I thought might sell. And as you can see, the highest selling one was 300,000 gold. That's a level 21 item. Um, I mean, that's outselling level 60 items, you know, by a decent amount. Radio guys, so since last time you saw me, uh, we just finished normal mode. Uh, we're about to finish nightmare mode. I didn't show much of nightmare mode because uh, I don't know. I've just been going at it for a while, just playing nonstop. So my gear is getting pretty insane now. Uh, like I, I have to go on Monster Power 10, otherwise it's just not worth the time. Um, 14k DPS right now, and then I have like 6% life steal on my weapons or something almost. So it's like I just can't die. It's awesome. Uh, so it's, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Actually, it's like I've all these reduced level items, obviously, like 14 reduced, or 18 reduced uh, item level stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really fun. Uh, we're making a pretty good amount of gold off leveling here. Um, I've played the auction house a tiny bit as well, just to see what I could do with the low level gear. Um, so on my next guide, uh, I want to actually talk about um, buying and selling low level items, because, uh, well, my next guide, in the next episode, I, I kind of want to go into detail on uh, how I'm making gold off doing that. So it's pretty crazy, like, you can buy low level items. Uh, I bought one for 4k, and I sold, the, the biggest one I uh, sold so far was 950,000 worth. Um, so I actually sold a level 25 chess piece for, for almost a million gold. Um, and I bought it for, like, 4k or something stupid. Um, so I want to teach you guys, like, I'm going to go over, like, which stats you want to search for and stuff like that. Because uh, it's pretty cool, I didn't think that would be possible, but it's actually a very good way of making money. So that's what I did for for a little bit. I probably made like uh, 1.5 million. I've spent a million and a half already, so it's 3.5 mil from leveling so far. It's not too bad. Um, but yeah, um, so uh, we'll get talking about uh, the what items you want to uh, actually use. What did I just do? Did I just exit? No, sorry. Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk about which items you actually want to pick up at level 60 in uh, in a little bit here. Um, I kind of want to get into that and just kind of just discuss what you want to ignore and what you want to pick up. It's funny because like. When you're doing low-level stuff, uh, you actually pick up everything, and lots of stuff is sellable on low levels. As long as it has like experience on it, you can sell it for like a good amount, and like you know, like 30k an item or or 70k an item. It's crazy. Um, but l obviously, later on, you pick up like nothing. Like at level 60, you literally pick up probably like two percent of the items you see. Uh, Why well, I might die here. In monster power 10 over here kicking my ass but uh yeah you probably pick up i'd say about two percent of the items you actually see um in uh later on but obviously the main way you're gonna make gold if you're low on gold is pick up everything and de it and sell it on the auction house like the you know all the uh we're not de it we're not playing freaking world of warcraft uh whatever it's called salvage it but yeah, we'll uh, we'll go into that soon. Uh, probably in the next clip, I'll talk about that. Just want to get this boss down. Is that a legendary? No, it's not. Wow, that's a lot of loot. Let's uh, let's see what just sold in the auction house. I want to see if it's something good. Let's have a look. Yeah, okay, we beat the game. Thank you. See like that. <laughs> Look at that, level 26 legs. Uh, so I bought this uh, this item as well for uh, for 200k. Um, I'm going to resell it out for almost a million and a half, which will be nice. Uh, but let me show you the one item I did. Uh, like, I'm not showing off here. I'll obviously teach you guys how to do this. Um, but, like, okay, so that one. Uh, that's a... Okay, to be fair, that is a fucking 
insane level 26 chess piece. That is absolutely balls to the wall insane. Like 60 dex, 100 vitality, two sockets with experience on it. So I obviously saw that. I was searching for, for items roughly on that. Um, as you can see, Carapace Vault. I purchased it for 7,500 uh, and sold it out for more than 10 times, more than 100 times that value. Um, which is just fucking insane. So, like, obviously, that was lucky. Um, but then again, I, I doubt anyone would have been searching for that as well. But, like, there's items like Mage Fist, like, sold out for 123k, um, bought it for, for 20k, so five times the value. Like, it's obviously not much, you know, profit if you look at it, the big picture, but it's still, like, five times the amount you spent on it, which is what you got to look at. And then, like, I have all this shit up right now as well. Some, like, high, high stuff. So I'll teach you guys how to do that in the next one as well as a few other things. But, uh... Yeah, let's get talking about what items you actually want to pick up at level um, and yeah, I got all that shit to sell as well. So, uh, well, yeah, let's talk about the stuff you want to pick up at level sixty. All right, guys. So here we are, uh, Act Three. Oh, pretty much done hell mode now. Uh, getting through it pretty pretty easily here. Uh, I'm just on Monster Power Zero now. I'm not gonna bother uh, going higher than that. I mean, I have crazy DPS, but if you're on ten uh, or like even five, the monsters still spank you pretty hard. It seems so. I'm kind of avoiding that. But uh, either way, let's uh, let's talk about what kind of items you want to pick up at level 60. Um, because it's... Obviously, I'm sure lots of you watch lots of streamers and stuff, and you see them either ignoring yellows or picking up certain yellows. And you're probably wondering, like, why are they picking those up? Why are they ignoring those? Um, now, I break down players into two categories. There's players who are probably... Lots of those who are watching this video who might be struggling um, in Inferno mode, like even making, like, 2 million gold, 3 million gold. Um, etc. Which, uh, so there's that type of player, and then there's the other type of player who's like, you know, geared enough, they grind uh, Act 3 very efficiently, um, and they, you know, they can make 10 million gold a day if they want, they can make, you know, 20 million gold a day if they want, um, it's just determined on how much they want to play. Now, if you're one of the, kind of the players in Category A, which is the category where, you know, you're starting off Inferno, you're having a lot of difficulty, I would recommend picking up absolutely everything you see. Um, reason being is, you know, you could you could grind for three hours and find nothing worthwhile sellable on the auction house. But if you're picking everything up, at least you can salvage all the items you find and put up the um, essences on the auction house. So you're guaranteed to make at least a bit of money. Um, I'm not sure how much essences are going for right now, but I'm gonna guess like maybe 300 gold each or something. So if you, you know, if you d 100 items and you get a 100, that's uh, you know 30,000 guaranteed gold. Um, is that right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, 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 yeah, 30,000. <laughs> so, I mean, you're, you're guaranteed some money coming in, plus you can D, like, you know, uh, sorry, not DE, we're not playing World of Warcraft here, are we? Uh, you can salvage, like, all of your yellows, things like that, maybe get uh, a few legendary shards if you're lucky. Um, but yeah, that, that guarantees, you know, at least some income coming in, and if you play a certain amount of hours, you're guaranteed to make a few million gold. Uh, you just need to put the time in doing that. Um, and now the next thing you can do if you're, you know, having troubles getting gold, etc., um, Get some pickup radius on your gear. Reason being is pickup radius is unbelievably good for time management and efficiency. Um, you know, running around picking up gold piles is not a good use of your time. Uh, it, you know, you could use that time killing more monsters, killing more lee packs, getting better chance on loot, things like that. Um, so if you get, you know, I'd say if you're a melee character, 10 yards radius uh, seems comfortable. Uh, for, you know, most gold efficiency, picking it up really quickly. Uh, and then if you're ranged, I'd recommend 15, 20 yards. Um, like, you know, I played my Witch Doctor with 30 yards for a while, and it was fantastic. Like, I'd kill a mob a million miles away, and uh, I'd get all the gold. Like, no problem. So, it, it does add up. Those gold piles do add up. Like, you know, if you look at your achievement, how much you picked up overall, you know, that's a good amount of gold. Like, you'd be surprised how much gold you actually pick up in the game. Um, so, you know, if you're starting out, definitely get some gold pickup radius. I'd 100% recommend it. It's, uh, it's awesome. It's really, really good. So, if you fall in the category of, you know, the second kind of player where you are just owning mobs and you don't have to pick up blues to make decent amount of gold, you might get a lucky drop once in a while because you're killing mobs so quickly. Um, now, it, it kind of boils down to personal preference and what you want to pick up and what you think is worthy of picking up, but, you know, what's worthy of your time clicking that item. Um, personally, I have a few personal preferences. Now, this one, I'm pretty sure everyone does this. Pick up jewelry. Uh, and when I say jewelry, I mean rings and necks. Uh, now, some people have the rule of level 61 plus. I pick up anything above 57. Um, reason being is it can still be worth a, a decent amount of gold if you get a decent roll. Um, now, why you pick up jewelry is 
jewelry can be worth, I mean, everything can be worth amazing amounts of gold, but jewelry on average is worth more than the average item, which is like, you know, chest, legs, things like that. Um, reason being is the the multipliers, the damage multipliers can get on them, and the kind of like, the amount of DPS a piece of jewelry can raise on one character, and the amount of uh, just versatility in a piece, in an item that it can give you is, uh, is a lot higher than any other piece. Now, to get a lucky roll on jewelry, um, general rule of thumb is you need critical hit chance on it. Um, reason being is crit is the, the best stat for every single class on its own. Um, well, that's that's arguably true. I'd say it's the best DPS stat for every class. So if you get critical hit chance plus a main stat like dexterity, and then if you get lucky enough to roll like attack speed or critical hit damage on that as well, that item's going to instantly be worth a pretty good amount of gold. Um, obviously, chances of that happening are low, but it seems higher than, you know, picking up a chess piece and rolling two sockets, all resist, high vitality, life percentage, and, like, you know, all those other crazy stats you need to make a chess piece worthwhile. So, jewelry, from what I've seen, has the most chance of being, um, you know, worth, worth your money, or worth money. So, uh, that being said, it's worth picking up, definitely, I'd say. Um, now, moving on to other pieces of uh, gear. Now, my personal preference, I always pick up gloves level uh, 62 plus. Uh, now, why I pick up gloves is it kind of shares the same rule as jewelry, where it can be worth, er, sorry, it, c it can roll those offensive stats, which can make it really, really worth uh, a lot of money. Um, so it can be, you know, it can roll attack speed, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage on the same item, plus like dexterity or something, or intelligence, um, which can be worth just in unbelievable amounts of gold. Um, like, you can pick up some pretty expensive gloves. I've sold a pair of gloves for, uh, I think that the highest amount wasn't that much, but it was like 42 million or something. Um, and that's, you know, that's a pretty good amount of gold. Um, and then the other item I'll pick up is, uh, I'll pick up, uh, now this is my personal preference, like I said before, everyone has their personal preferences. I pick up boots above level 62. Um, reason I pick up boots is I've had the most luck with boots in my, like, kind of Diablo career. I probably may, if, if I have to pick, like, one specific item I've made my most gold off of um, as a whole from picking up yellows it's probably boots I don't know why but like I've you know I always end up getting boots with movement speed and all resist and like a stat and stamina on them or something um, now obviously that's just that's just luck obviously but um, that's I always pick them up so every boots level 62 plus I'll pick up just because I've had the most luck with it um, now in terms of other items you know, I farm quite efficiently, and I'm sure, you know, player two, or category two, you, you, you're all farming quite efficiently. I don't really bother picking up anything below level 63. Um, reason being is, obviously, a 61 item can roll, or 61 or 62 item can roll the same amount of stats, like, in terms of, like, you can have two sockets, all resist, uh, vitality and stamina on the item, but the stats are going to be lower, um, like, the stat range, so I don't bother picking up anything normally above or below level 63. Um, level 62, I'll pick up shoulders and belts. Uh, reason being is, uh, you can still get some pretty good shoulders and belts at level 62. You can get every item good level 62, but I've had the most luck with those, at least, uh, throughout my career. So, um, I'd recommend picking up 63 items, definitely. Um, but if you're farming really, really efficiently, and you're, like, you're just farming legendaries, like in Monster Power Zero, and that's all you want to do, or Monster Power 2, or whatever, then you can get away with picking up nothing and just farming legendaries all day, if that's, you know, how efficient you're being. Um, and, and jewelry. I'd, I'd never pass up jewelry, uh, no matter how fast I'm, I'm kind of farming. But, uh, you know, if you're farming really, really efficiently, you don't have to pick up anything if you don't want to. But, you know, I always pick up 63 stuff just because it's a bit of fun IDing it anyways. And it doesn't really shed that much time off your grind if you take a few more seconds to pick up those 63 items. Um, well, it can, you know, it can save you a couple minutes throughout your whole day or a couple, you know, maybe 10 minutes if you don't. But, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to make a really in-depth guide on, <clears throat> like, pretty much, sorry, a bit sick here, guys. I'm going to make a really in-depth guide on what you want to pick up, and what item levels you want to pick up, and why you want to pick up those items. Like, I want to talk about kind of um, the stats you can get on each item, and like, uh, pretty much just like, how likely it is that that item will drop with those stats, um, and like, how worthwhile of your time it is to pick it up so i will be making a very in-depth guide in that it, during the month of september september no january <laughs> you don't you don't have to wait like nine months for it or in january um but i'm just kind of like doing some number crunching right now and just like just generally picking up items and seeing what rolls um but oh yeah that's one thing i was going to say items you should definitely avoid 100 percent. don't bother really picking up two-handers uh ever like you can roll a perfect two-hander and it still won't be worth that much gold and the odds of you rolling a perfect two-hander are ridiculously low so 
I never pick up two enders. They just piss me off when when they drop. It's just a waste of a 63 item if it drops. I, I, I find at least. Whoa, whoa. Look at this. Shit's getting real now. Um, but yeah, never pick up two enders. But yeah, guys, um, we'll uh, we're getting in, into Inferno mode here soon, so we're doing pretty well. Uh, so that's that's it for the the like picking up level 60 items. We're just gonna play through the rest of Hell mode. And we're gonna get started in Inferno now. But uh, we're doing really well right now, leveling. Like as you can see, I'm at three million gold. I've spent about a million gold as well just on this leveling gear. Um, maybe more actually. So collectively, maybe we picked up five million gold leveling, which is insane. Like low low level. I'm making a separate guide for this, by the way, because it's so good. Low level items sell for f shitloads of gold. Like, we're talking, like, you know, a chest piece sells for 250k. How many how many chest pieces can you grind out in an hour on, you know, on Monster Power 10 with your level 60 character? Um, you know, like, you're going to farm out a lot of gear, and lots of the gear is worth a lot. Like, I found an experience vital, or sorry, experience dexterity level 9 chest and sold it for 450k gold. You're going to get a lot of those grinding uh, throughout level, you know, or if you're grinding level 60 in Monster Power 1 in Act 1 or Act 2. So uh, I'm going to make a guide on what stats you want to look for in these items and exactly, like, you know, what you can do with them because it's fucking unbelievable um, how much gold. I, I sold a level 25 or a 16 chess piece, or I think it was 20, maybe 20, for a million gold. <laughs> like, What? It's insane. So I'm gonna make a guide on that, anyways. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll talk about that more in a bit, and I'll show you guys like you know my auction house page and what we've done uh, to make that gold. And here we are, about to hit level 60 and kill Diablo and go Inferno mode. So progress so far. Uh, we're down to 1.6 mil. Um, I'm gonna probably use like a 500k budget when we hit 60 and not spend into that 1.6 mil, uh, just so it's like you know we can see what kind of gear we can get for that and stuff, and uh, and go from there. Because I want to get like on. On like the lowest gear level possible, and try to like get on the level of people who are having problems making gold and stuff, and see what we can do with uh with that kind of gear really. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, I had a lot more gold by the way. I like I bought an Inna's helm uh, for two million, and I can resell it for six million. So that's just uh, yeah. I'm doing a buying and reselling guide by the way. So we just hit level sixty, didn't we? Yeah. Um, as well, so you kind of know what to buy and what to sell, because um, you can make some pretty crazy money. Like I saw a few other purchases, which were a 10 million, which you could have sold back for, for close to 20, um, which was nice as well. So yeah, let's go kill Diablo. And here we go. Let's uh, get into Inferno mode. Kill this motherfucker. I don't have enough spirit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what we can get for. I'd say 500k is a fair amount to. To say most people would have when they enter Inferno mode. Um, well, I'd, I'd assume most people would have that just by picking up gold and stuff. So, I'm I'm gonna guess we can get a pretty good set of gear for 500k. Um, like I'm probably gonna use the weapons I have right now, uh, which I bought leveling up. And then, well, you never know. I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see what we can get. I'm I'm new to US servers, so I'm not sure like what what all the prices are like and stuff. It should be interesting. Ooh, just got caught out. I think that happens to me every single time. He does that. But yeah, it's not, it'll be cool to see, uh, actually, like, you know, compare all the prices and stuff. I haven't actually really had too many chances to do that lately. I think the best thing about me being on US servers is, like, the inability to buy gold. Like, it's... Oh, I almost killed him! Ah! It's, it'll be nice to, um, not have that option. Because it's, it's easy, just, like, I'm sure everyone does it, where if you're, like, a million gold short of something, you can just, like, throw down, like, 30 pence or, like, a pound and... Or 30 cents or a dollar and just, like, get that gold. It's... It's annoying. I don't like having the ability to do that. It's not good for your bank account at all. If if you didn't know, you can't uh, you can't buy gold across. Uh, so like EU can't people who live in the EU can't buy gold on US and vice versa. It's uh, I don't know why. It's like the weirdest thing ever. I got my friend over to play with me from US servers, and he played on EU with me, and he was like really upset about that. It's a bit. It's kind of pointless, really, I guess, but. Right, yeah, so Diablo's dead. Let's hop on the auction house and see what we can do. All right, so we have um, 500,000 gold, so it's a budget of, I think, like 40k on each piece. So we're going to see what we can do for that. Um, I'm not going to go for any specific resist right now, mainly because it doesn't actually matter. Because um, we're spending such a little amount of gold, I can just easily replace the whole set with something. So uh, we're just going to completely decide what we want to get based on the first item I buy. 
Um, I'm not going to show every single item I buy. Uh, you can refer to my 3 million budget guide um, if you want, uh, obviously, for what to buy for each set. It doesn't actually change depending on how much gold you have. It's just like you can spend more gold to get more stats. Uh, so, I mean, the difference between this 500k budget I'm doing and the 3 million is actually non-existent. You just, uh, you just have to... Um, just buy, you know, depending on how much gold you have. So, anyways, uh, let's uh, have a look here. So, I want lots of vitality. So, I'm thinking that. It's got an okay amount of all resist. Let's have a look. Uh, but we want to maintain some good dexterity as well. That's actually pretty fucking good as well. It's got really high uh, resist. Let's see if we can pair it up with another resistance here. Uh, that's good. It's got life percentage on it, but I don't think we'll need that. Um, so, ooh, that's, uh, that's a pretty hefty piece. Uh, 80 all resists, 24, so that's a 100, plus 100 all resist almost. That one is, uh, we'll go for that one, I think. It's got, a uh, 82 all resist. A decent amount of dex. Let's quickly search this by dexterity, highest to lowest. I like that. Uh, slow vite, though. I, I want a good amount of vite. Uh, I don't want to settle with, uh, shitty amount of vitality. So vitality is very, very important. Um, so like, that's okay. Wow, it's got a lot of fucking... Wow. Okay, sorry. Part of my French here, guys. Getting a bit excited here. It's, it's nice. It feels like I'm starting a ladder character again right now. It's, uh, it's really exciting. I wish it would bring a ladder in because it would make the game so much more fun. Restarting the game and restarting your whole character over is actually a very enjoyable experience. Um, you'd think it would suck, but I'm having a lot of fun doing it, so... I'm gonna go for that one. Uh, so 20k. Let me let me clear out this stuff here so we know. All right, all right, guys. Uh, I'll buy the legs like, here and then I'll uh, I'll tune you out for the rest and just kind of go for it. I'll show you the completed screen after though. So was that a specific resist? I think that was just all resist, wasn't it? Nice. Okay. So we can get literally anything we want here. This is nice. Um, any resistance. Kind of cool. We can just pick. Uh, let's search for vitality. Cause I want a good. Whoa! Wow. It's a lot of vite. That is a lot of vitality. I don't think we need that much. Uh, we can rough too much, but you know. Um, oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, it's amazing what you can buy for these amounts of gold now. It's crazy. So that one's got 66. Plus two sockets. Uh, so in terms of dexterity, that's pretty good. That's got... 173, 196, 74, ooh, 53 all resist. Got less stamina though. Which, uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go for that one. Just because it's got a bit less fight, but it's got that extra little bit of health regen on there, actually. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay, we'll go for that. Actually, how much is the other one? No, I'd rather get that. So we can save on our budget a bit more and splash out for a weapon, maybe. All right, so we just about hit the budget. Uh, I think we were a bit under, maybe a bit over. I'm not too sure. Uh, we ended up with some pretty uh, decent loot here. Um, went with poison resist in the end. No specific reason. I think I came across one piece that specifically had like quite a bit of it on. So I just kind of went with it. Um, but this set of gear is actually pretty, pretty crazy for uh, for this amount. So let's put it all together. I got it all here uh, set up. I just need to put the gems in now. And, uh, and we're good to go. So let me slap these in. Uh, so look, got one in there. Can't even aim my mouse apparently. What else? We got one in there. And we got another one in, was it the chest? Yeah. Alright, so let's have a look. Uh, main hand that, off hand that. <laughs> yeah. It's not too bad. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, 600 all resist. 40k health, 35% uh, crit without the uh, scoundrel. Let's get the scoundrel out of here. Actually, I'm going to probably use the enchantress for now. It's for a bit more survivability. I haven't even used her yet. Um, let me just make sure I got everything on here. So, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. Let me just double check. All right, so that's set. I mean, uh, that's a pretty pretty hot character really for 500k so anyone can do that I mean like 500k you can you can literally get 500k just picking up every single item you come across in act one inferno um, and literally just salvaging it and vendoring or uh, auction housing the um, the essences and you'll make 500k it, it might take you like an hour or two 
uh, depending on how fast you are, but you can do it, and you can buy a set of gear just like this. Check out my uh, my three million budget guide, and I just kind of followed the exact same guidelines as I did for that, um, and I got this gear. So let's uh, let's go see what this can do, and we'll see uh, how much money we can make. In uh, you know, I'll, I'll start timing an hour at the beginning of my next run. We'll see how much money we can make. But let's just see what we can do right now with this. Okay, so here we are. Um, pretty much done Inferno mode. We're almost done Act Three now. Uh, I think I've just passed. Um, his name is Siegebreaker, and uh, and we've collected so far 530 exquisite exquisite essences and like a bunch of other just random crap. So um, that's probably about four hours of gameplay, maybe four and a half hours uh, since we've entered Inferno, and we've made all these so far. So if we sell all these, my guess is we're gonna make close to a million, maybe 700,000 or something. We'll uh, we'll see. How much did those just go up? 406. Okay. Is that bugged? They were just selling for a long time. Um, Okay, here we go. It's better. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this should make us about, I don't know, probably 700k roughly, um, maybe a bit less. And we've looted 400k since we started, so that's almost a million uh, just going through VX. Um, so all you really have to do is just like consistently play. I've been picking up every single blue and every single yellow, um, and it's worked out pretty well so far. Let's see what these sell for, probably. Not. So yeah, so um, as you can see, like obviously, just picking up everything. If you consistently play like a couple hours or maybe like half an hour a day, even you'll make your you know couple million pretty easily, um, just off your mats and things like that. That's the main way to get started with gold. Um, and as you can see, like we we spent 500k on this gear, and it's so far um, it's been really good in terms of uh, efficiency. Like uh, we're clearing Act Three so easily right now; it's unbelievable. Uh, like extremely, extremely easy just for 500k gold so anyone can just get started and get making gold really really quickly um, as you can see obviously 16 million um, I haven't spent any money yet I've made and I've been playing the auction house a little bit um, and part three of the guide will be just mainly talking about how to play the auction house and uh, kind of some of the items I've kept my eye on which ones I've been buying and things like that um, I've been doing a lot of low level as you can see like that's that's our budget set and that's what we bought and sold since then but um, I've been mainly um, buying lots of low level stuff and reselling it out and I want to really talk about what you can do with that because uh, after leveling um, I noticed that lots of leveling gear sells for a lot so if you know what to buy and since not many people are doing it you can make quite a bit of gold off that so uh, part three will be talking roughly about that um, we'll uh, we'll get killing Diablo uh, to finish off this uh, this episode though let's let's get doing that right now and here we have it the final death of Diablo on all difficulties finally um, it's probably like the 50th time I've showed it in this video now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Diablo's dying. Um, so that, that about wraps it up for today's guide, pretty much, guys. Um, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but next guide, um, which will be recording tomorrow, actually, uh, we're going to be going over exactly what I did in the auction house to make that 16, 17 million gold um, in terms of buying and selling. And we're going to go over lots of um, which items to get uh, for low levels, um, like level like 1 through 20, to buy and sell which you can make crazy amounts of profit off of. Um, like, the profit margin will always be just an insane amount. So we're going to go over that. And, yeah, just uh, buying and selling the auction house generally. Um, so that one will be, like, the bulk of how to make money um, quickly and easily. And everyone can do it. It just takes a bit of uh, a bit of time on the auction house learning some of the item types and uh, and what we'll buy and what we'll sell. But I will teach you guys exactly... Um, you know, what'll, what'll buy and what'll sell on the auction house. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching today, guys. Um, if you didn't check out the first episode, which I'm pretty sure um, you would have by now, um, it's on the screen for you to have a look at. Um, and uh, and yeah, uh, check out my other guides as well. I have a Demon Hunter Legendary Guide out as well. And the next one that's coming out will either be Monk or uh, Witch Doctor. And that will be out um, very early next week. So uh, like I think that's like on the 8th or 9th or something of... Uh, of January. So yeah, guys, check that out. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.